last minute opportunities like this don't really come around that often. We have quite literally intercepted this car on its way to the Goodwood Festival of Speed. So we're the first to get access to it. So we're the first to have a look at it. What is it? Well, it is the latest 911 reimagined by Singer. It's called the Dynamics and Lightweighting Study. It's a car that's been co-developed with Williams Advanced Engineering, which means it's basically a beautiful old 964 infused with Formula One technology. If that hasn't got your mouth watering, I don't know what will. We're going to start around here with the engine. Let me just pop the cow back. It is, of course, an air-cooled 911. This is the car's point. It's supposed to be the most extreme air-cooled engine they could possibly find. So four litre, uh, four valve head. It has 500 horsepower. It'll rev past 9,000 RPM. I haven't driven it, obviously. I haven't seen it in motion, but I'm told it sounds a little bit like a Formula One car when you have the straight pipes on it, and it's just a thing of beauty. As always with Singer's cars, the attention to detail it's beyond anything anyone in the world can produce. So this engine, I mean, forget driving it. You could just stare at it for hours, couldn't you? Magnesium fan here, carbon fiber everywhere. These bits here, that's how you adjust your suspension. So no need to get under the car and get your jeans dirty. It's all there for you. That's close. Um, while we're here, we should talk about aerodynamics. Aerodynamics on an old Porsche. Who'd have thought it? Now, the original concept, the air, I'm told, was detaching here. So it was coming down this rear wing and only hitting the tip of the wing. So it wasn't doing much. It was just there for decoration. So William said, look, we can fix this. Let's have a floating wing there. That keeps the air attached to this rear screen over the louvres and hits the wing so it can do its job properly. It's a bit taller than the normal ducktail that we're used to on classic 911s and it's got a gurney flap here to give it proper downforce. It's not a big high downforce car this, it's more about balancing the back with the front. So many details in this thing. Honestly, this car was born to be looked at up close. So let's look at the wheels, because this is where Rob Dickinson, the boss of Singers, this is where his design meets engineering philosophy really comes to it. This is the B uh, BBS wheel, forged magnesium, extreme deep dish, of course, and a special center lock that was developed by Williams. All of this is bespoke, of course. The plan at the moment is only to build 75 cars. So he's calling up BBS and saying, hey, fancy making us a super short run of these bespoke wheels. And everyone's saying, yes, they want to work with this company. Michelin as well. So they do make Pilot Sport Cup 2s in this width, but Rob wasn't happy with that wanted the perfect stretch. We wanted this to be a little bit wider here. So the angle of that wheel flows with the sidewall of the tire, which meets the arch, which flows into the bodywork. It is incredible attention to detail. But as he said earlier, when I spoke to Rob, if those details aren't right, you might as well forget the whole thing. I think he's got it right, to be honest. Let's have a look inside. As we all know, Singer 911, 911's reimagined by Singer Interiors, are absolutely beautiful. This is where the detail really comes to shine, but here it's very special. So you've got the bespoke carbon fiber Momo wheel, these Recaro seats, they're made especially. I love this, right? Six speed manual, of course. You've got the exposed linkage under there. It is just pure pornography, that. In fact, there is a point to it. You wanted to raise up the, uh, the gear lever. You wanted the gear lever as close to the wheel as possible, so when you're driving, the shift is literally right there next to you. But why not make a piece of art out of that engineering solution? This is a carbon fibre gear knob, but in there, a balsa wood inlay. And then obviously there's the jewellery around here, this centre rev counter here in gold. Maybe a bit much for some, but come on. If you're going to go this far, you might as well finish it off. You'll notice there isn't actually a passenger seat. That isn't a, uh, a spec you order the car in. It is just that fresh out of the factory. They haven't had time to fix it. There will be one later on. In fact, I quite like that look. Let's just take the time to look at this car because how beautiful is it? Anyone that thinks this isn't among the most beautiful cars on the planet, you need your eyes checked. 
it's that attention to detail. This one has the engineering to match. Honestly, I'm blown away with it. I did speak to Rob earlier, and I did broach the subject of money. And it is $1.8 million as a starting price. But that's not a price that he's picked out the air and then built a car to match it. That just is the cost of making the Ultimate 911, getting the best components from the best companies, making it historically accurate and making it among, as I'm sure it will be, the very best cars on earth to drive. One of the most exciting cars I've ever been in. A privilege 